The Republican and Democratic candidates who are advancing to the general election in the Columbus race for mayor won their respective party nominations last night by a landslide. Here's more. Both Republican Kristen Brown and Democrat Priscilla Scalf garnered more than 60 percent of their party's votes. Scalf watched at Yes Cinema last night as votes came in. She says her campaign has a lot of momentum moving forward, and if elected, she'll continue the work that's been done by four-term mayor Fred Armstrong. As I said, I think that Columbus has progressed a lot over the last 16 years, um, but obviously we need to keep moving forward. So we have a brand new downtown that we need to keep invigorating and keep building that. We need to connect all of Columbus together as a whole town. Likewise, Brown says one of her first orders of business will be creating a strategic plan for the entire city. She says Columbus needs to be more inclusive. Our city politics has been politics as usual for a while. Um, the people uh, want to see leadership that understands that the leaders, actually the elected officials, work for the taxpayers and the citizens. Meanwhile, in Bloomington, Mayor Mark Cruzan will be running for a third term in November. Surrounded by supporters, he celebrated his victory last night at the Democratic headquarters. And Bloomington has been extremely good to me for a lot of years, and uh, I want them to know I don't ever take it for granted, and certainly want to repay that, that courtesy. In, uh, in the next four years. Going into the general election, Cruzan is running unopposed. Republicans have until June 30th to choose a challenger. For WTIU News, I'm Sarah Whitmire.